Um, of course, we are still, and I think most companies are still working on hydrogen and on fuel cell technology. Right now, we don't see them so relevant in today's cars, but they might become very relevant in the future. The impact for us designers is to be discussed. Um, a fuel cell um, technology, again, needs a different package compared to the battery-powered or compared to combustion engine-powered vehicles. That's why the student, the young designer, um, really needs this understanding about package, how technology, package and aesthetics are interacting with each other. It's always finding the best compromise from package and aesthetic. These technologies you will, we will have in the future. Um, we we'll also still have natural gas as a as an energy source, um, but after all, I don't think that these technologies will will have too much impact on the aesthetics. The aesthetic should be driven by the designer and by the strategy the company is following. There will be a variety of technology underneath, so I think it's it's important that the designer has an understanding of it, but actually rather has a, a strong vision about the the future in terms of um, concept, in terms of using, in terms of aesthetics. I would say if you, if you create a really strong message, a strong concept, and if you apply it at the company with a portfolio with, strong, with a strong message, with a strong concept, and this, this company is not buying your idea, is not um, appreciating the, your idea, it's the wrong company for you. Um, then the company at that moment is not looking for that kind of idea. If it's a strong idea, if it's a strong statement, uh, you have to find a company which is ready for you and which is ready for your ideas. It makes no sense to, um, to try to please the company. Then you and the company will not be happy partners. Um, I have seen designers um, trying the best to please the company um, but yeah, and then they got the job and, and somehow they, they made their first years, but they were not necessarily happy employees, not happy designers, because it's actually something else I wanted to express. It's actually their dream was something else. Um, but this dream didn't fit to that company. So it's actually better to look for the company that has the same dream as you. Um, then you don't have to bend yourself. You don't have to change your vision. So it's better to find the right company for you. And maybe there is not the company at all. Maybe then it's time to set up your own company. <laughs> if you have a strong dream, if you have a strong vision, and you don't find a company who is having the same dream, then maybe it's a wise decision to set up a company and follow your dream and your vision. Not easy, but possible. No, we, we have examples, we see examples like, um, especially the startups, um, if I think about Tesla, if I think about uh, the Croatian Remark, Remark, I think it's called. Uh, so their company is kind of, okay, they said, okay, I have a dream, I don't find a company who is working on the same dream, so I build up my own company. I look for investors that I can convince that are sharing the same vision and then I go ahead.